We're going to teach you a technique where you can literally predict anything impromptu anywhere, anytime with something you already have on you. Your cell phone. I'm sorry, I, I don't remember. Greg. Greg. Yes. Re really? Greg. Kristen. Kristen. Really? Andrea. Seriously. Andrea. You're not going to believe this. Two days ago, I was uh, sitting at home in Detroit in a coffee shop, and I had uh, what can only be described as a, a premonition. And I was sitting there thinking to myself, at some point later this week, I'll meet someone named Kristen. And I knew you wouldn't believe me, so I thought, uh, I'd like you to think of the three-digit number that comes to mind first. It can be a number that means something to you, or it can be just something you pop full right off the top of your head. You got one? And do you think you came up with that right off the top of your head, or do you feel like I influenced you possibly in a particular way? No, I came up with it off the top of my head. And you're sure of that? Positive. Whatever you have in your mind right now, that's the number. What is the number? 614. Believe it or not, in my cell phone, I have a memo recorder, and this was recorded two days ago. Right here, in the cell phone, there is one file, one file only. The rest of those are just ringtones. Okay. Yeah, and it's dated. You can see 11... 3 2010 and you can see it that's 11 2 2010 one file one file only mm -hmm. it's dated it's time stamped 11 2 that's two days ago yes right hit play right there just hit okay it's early in the morning at some point later in the week i'll meet someone named greg i'll attempt to make greg think of the three digit number 614 thank you and thank you very, very much. <laughs> Get out of here, you devil. <laughs> Get out of my house. Very, very much. Are you serious right now? Thank you, wait, wait, thank you so much. What the hell? Can you think about the, one of the last people you talked to on the phone? Uh, somebody that wouldn't be absolutely obvious to me. Um, you take your phone. Yeah. You got somebody in mind? Imagine walking up to any person, anytime, anywhere, asking that person to think of one of the last people they spoke to on the phone. You immediately start describing what that person looks like, what their hair color is, their eye color, how tall they are, their hair length, and they've written nothing down. They've told you absolutely no information, and yet you've described exactly what that person looks like, and you can even tell them the name of that person. Finally, imagine having them call that person up, have the person on the other end of the phone name any number on their dial pad. Then you call anyone from your cell phone on speakerphone and ask that person to name any number on their dial pad and the numbers are exactly the same. Sound impossible? Not with Patrick Bradford's cellular oracle. A six. A six. I'm going to call a friend from my phone because everybody really is mysteriously connected by numbers. Hey, Paul, for a moment, I just want you to imagine a dial pad in your mind. I'm here with some friends. I want you to imagine pressing a number on that dial pad. Okay. What number did you just press? Uh, six. The number six? Thanks. I'll, I'll call you back later to tell you what that's about. All right, talk to, talk to you later. Bye. Thank you very much. I don't get that at all. Folks, it really has been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna leave you with the camera. Yeah, Thanks a lot, my friend. <laughs> Jesus! Oh, what? That's <laughs> up.